this tutorial you will learn how to test multicollinearity in SPSS. So let's begin. Okay, so this is the data file I am going to use. Here I have four different variables. Self-efficacy, satisfaction, innovation are my independent variables and performance is my dependent variable. So I'm going to test multicollinearity on this model. So basically multicollinearity exists when independent variables have relationship. So let's see how multicollinearity can be tested using SPSS. For analysis, go to analyze, regression and linear. Okay, so uh, you can see a new window is open. Here you have to set what are your independent variables and dependent variables. So in this case, self-efficacy, satisfaction, innovation are my independent variables, whereas performance is dependent variable. So now all set, go to statistics and check collinearity diagnostic. Press continue and OK. OK, here are the results. Basically, these are the results of regression and in that we have uh, we have to check whether multicollinearity exists in the model or not. So let's see how we can interpret the output. Multicollinearity can be detected using variance inflation factor. So if the VIF value is less than or equal to 10, it means there is no severe multicollinearity exists in the model. So let's see the results and check whether multicollinearity problem exists in our model or not. So here are the results. Now we have to see the value of VIF. So go to coefficient table and you can see the last column VIF. As per the benchmark, the value should be less than 10 or equal to 10. But here in this case, uh, all the independent variables have VIF value lesser than 10. It means there is no multicollinearity problem exists in the model. Thank you.